foxy lady. <laughs> <laughs> this is my grandson's fox. He is obsessed with fox. It's true. He loves foxes. And he just said that I could have this fox. He's crawling around right here. So, poke your head. There he is. Isn't he <laughs> handsome? <laughs> just don't knock my table there. I know this is another fireside chat with my fireplace. And I made you coffee, okay? Here you go. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I know, I know. My grandson. I don't even drink coffee. No, you don't drink it. You can't. Why do they always say it'll stun his growth, right? They'll stun your growth. Yeah. I bet they just don't want to have coffee so I that they're not all wired. <laughs> they're bouncing all over the place. Yeah. Well, today I want to talk about doing things that we don't want to do. Mm, don't, please don't do that, <laughs> okay? Hey, you know what? Now it's not funny. I do need to get this going so I can get this up today. So you got to go, okay? There you go, baby. Thanks. You really do have to go, though. You really do have to go. I will tell your mom, and she'll make you go. Go play your thing, and then I'll come, I'll come talk to you after. Thank you, darling. Yeah. You don't want to go. <laughs> I'll tell your mother on you. <laughs> he just keeps walking around here. I know. Um, today's my last day. I know. I get to go back to my van. <laughs> it's the truth. I really miss my van. I miss Tucson. Um, you know, the thing is, this isn't my home. And I love my family so much. I think four days is about the limit, yeah. And uh, after a while, then it becomes... Um, it becomes a lot of work for them here. I mean, I'm I'm somebody, I've been planted into their lives and they don't want me here for too much longer. You know, they want to get back to their life too. But I will uh, definitely miss my granddaughter because we're just a little bit closer. And uh, she kind of, I, I can tell that she really wishes that we live closer together. But what I want to talk about today is doing things you don't want to do. I saw this really, really informative, really cool short, and it talked about the anterior mid-singular cortex, and it's in our brain. And what it does is they say they're starting, they're really studying it. They found that when people do add on something onto their lives and do it, even though they really don't want to, it grows larger. It does. And the benefit of it is they found that when people, um, when, as people get older, you know, part of the brain can kind of diminish. But that, if, if that got large, it remains large in the brain. And they're just not talking about doing, adding on maybe like, oh, three hours of extra work a day or even a week, or going to the gym three hours more a day or a week. It's adding it on when you don't want to do it, but you're doing it because it's a challenge for you and you really want to challenge yourself. It grows. But the best part of it is, is they found in athletes, it's a very large in the brain. It's called the anterior mid-singular cortex. And they found it's very large in athletes, okay? And um, they're, they're realizing that it might not just be the thing that, that, that keeps you, that keeps you longevity, but it's the actual thing that gives you the will to live, which if you think about it, the will to live, I mean, I've heard people say, oh, I hope I die young or that. Yeah. Um, I've always said, and I really do mean it, I, I hope I live a long time. I think I have a very strong will to live and I can, I can handle challenges. I can handle those things. And I think some people can handle more, but I do believe, I think what they're saying is that what they're starting to study now, that that might be the area of the brain, the anterior mid-singular cortex, cortex might be the actual area that gives you the will to live. 
And that, I, I find some of these things fascinating. Um, and I find them when I'm scrolling. You know, it's like I call, I used to call it the rabbit hole. I'm, I, what happened? An hour's gone and all I've been doing is scrolling a short after short. Or on Facebook, they're called reels. Reel after reel. And, uh, but I'm finding some of them really fascinating and I'm gaining some really good knowledge from it. So, um, I guess it's not so much being in a rabbit hole. It's, it's a, if it is, it's a good rabbit hole. Yeah. Well, one thing I thought about, let's talk about this. One thing that I thought about was this morning, um, my daughter wanted to sleep in and this, me being here gives her a little bit of chance to not just have two small children by yourself, but I can join in in some of the duties, right? So she called me and she says, she was upstairs laying down. She says, would you help my daughter um, open the garage door and watch out for the bus coming to pick her up? So I thought, sure. And then she texts me and she says, well, do it. Like it was only like in five minutes and I was still drinking my coffee. So I didn't even put on my jacket and it's really chilly out there, very chilly. So um, I went out there and we just sort of walked around on the driveway and we were talking, my granddaughter and I. She's about, she'll, she'll be 10 here in about a month. And um, we're very close. We're like peas and carrots, right? <laughs> As Forrest Gump said, you know, him and Jenny, we're like peas and carrots. Well, it was really cold, but I, I, I remember saying to her that this is probably really good for me to be a little chilly and to like shiver a little bit. It's really good for the body. I've read that. So I just said, oh, no big deal. I'm just gonna stay out here. And I, it was a good 20 minutes that we were out there. And I didn't mind at all. I just like, okay. Um, I just put it on my mind. It was, I was chilly. I had this um, turtleneck on, yeah. This is like my, my outfit. <laughs> for, I've been wearing this outfit for quite a while. It's so comfortable. I like to wear comfortable things. It's a turtleneck. I got these. Somebody asked, where did you get these turtlenecks? And I got them because um, I have a gray one and I have a white one and I have a deep brown one. And I bought these at H&M at the mall. So comfortable. So soft. Quality. Quality. And they were all on sale. And then I have my jeans shorts on. And these are just really thin sort of yoga pants. Actually, the brand of these are 32 degrees. And remember, I like the shirts, 32 degrees. I'm just talking about them. You know, I, I had shirts, 32 degrees. Well, I, I realized that they also have pants. They're thin. But, yeah, they're like yoga pants, only thinner. It's like really soft. I don't know about you, but I like really soft things on my body. I don't like anything uncomfortable. So that's one of the reasons that I probably go with the same things all the time. So I have two of these. I brought three of these and I have a couple different of these and I have looked the same all week, all since I've been here. <laughs> I have not changed my, go I, I have two, so I've washed them, but I did, then I put on my clean outfit. I feel like um, Steve Jobs, you know, Steve Jobs and some of these other um, people that um, they're, I'm not saying I'm a genius, okay? Although I think my singular mid, I think my anterior mid singular cortex is large because I do a lot of things I really don't want to do. So maybe I am a genius, right? But they have, if you see in the closets, they have the same thing, but they have a whole bunch of them. <laughs> they have turtlenecks, Steve Jobs or turtleneck, they have turtlenecks. They have a pair of jeans and they have a whole bunch of jeans and then they have a whole bunch of black turtlenecks, maybe a white one or something like that. Well, that's me. That's me. <laughs> I know. Um, more coffee. That's why I'm all chitter chatter. So let's talk about doing things you don't want to do. I will honestly say, I'll honestly say, I'll be honest. I really didn't want to fly. I really didn't want to get out of my comfort zone. I really didn't want to leave my routine. I knew when I got here, I wouldn't be going to the gym. I knew that I could only take so many things with me. You can't take big jars of like, so face stuff or my hair stuff. So I knew I'd be at my daughter's mercy. Like, can I use your stuff? 
because the TSA, they'll just throw those things away, you know, and I spend money on those things. So I really, and then the motion sickness, motion sickness going on the plane. I know I'm admitting it. I really, I was kind of fighting coming. I thought, oh boy, it got closer and closer and closer. I'd already paid, bought the tickets. But when you buy the tickets and it's a long ways away, you don't think too much about it, right? But then it started getting closer, like two weeks, then a week, I thought, hmm, I've already paid for the tickets. You know, I, I know it sounds really bad, but I'll admit it, you know, I'll be honest, I really didn't want to come because of the, I didn't want to be motion, get motion sickness and then be sick. Because I remember what it was like on that whale ship. I was sick for two, three days. I mean, what fun is that, right? And I knew I would lose sleep. I knew that my bowel movement habits were going to get out of whack as we get older. That's a big deal. <laughs> I know. I don't have my bucket. You know, I got to use a regular toilet. And then my sleeping, really? I'm not, I'm going to be sleeping somewhere where I'm not used to sleeping. It all was eating away at me. But, but I'm glad I did. I mean, of course, I'm glad I'm here and I'm glad I did it. And I'm so glad I got to see my family. There was just part of me that was resisting it. I, but in talking about the anterior mid-singular cortex, I keep saying it. I want to get that in my head. Is I did something I really didn't want to do. I didn't want to do that. So how often do you do that? Think about that. How often do you do something you really don't want to do? You do it because maybe in the back of your mind you think in the end it'll be good for you. They made examples like going to the gym, adding on more time onto the gym. You really don't want to do it, but you're making yourself do it. You do it anyways, even though you don't want to do it. What about if you're going to diet? You really want to eat, but you stop yourself from doing it. You don't want to stop yourself from eating, but you do it. Isn't that cool? What are some other things? Um, I don't know. You know, usually it's working out. It has to do with the body. Maybe at, how about adding on hours onto your work? Maybe, I remember at Amazon, they used to offer overtime after and you work 10 hours anyway 10 hours they say after eight hours you lose all motivation that extra two hours of working eight when you once you reach eight hours your production quality goes down you're not really producing a lot but i already i remember amazon i already worked 10 hours i was like i want to go home i want to get out of here i want to go back to my van but you know it's going to be good for you. They're offering it, and it's time and a half. And so you do it anyways. There's where it grows. The will to live gets stronger and stronger and stronger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, what about, like, uh, cleaning the bathrooms? I was telling my daughter, oh my gosh, she has four bathrooms. She has four main bathrooms. Where does she find the time to clean those? I mean, and it's, it's, it's a large house. I know I'm kind of backed into here, but this is the one area that I feel comfortable where my grandson isn't. And some of the, this is a little bit more colorful. And some of the walls are like beige and yeah. And, um, I would let, you know, there's four bedrooms upstairs, two bathrooms, and then there's, a bathroom here and then down in the basement. I would go down there and film, but my grandson's down there with the TV going. So, <laughs> I know. Um, but cleaning the house, I'll bet she really has to make herself clean those bathrooms all the, day, all the time. Yeah, I bet that's just the way it is. But she makes herself do it. How many times did we have to go to work? And... Maybe we could have gotten away with, we could have called in or something, but we made ourselves do it. That area grows. What do you think? Here's something else I thought about that coincides with me being cold outside, out, out in the driveway. 
There was a little bit of wind, and it's pretty. It's gray skies again today. Uh oh, here he comes again. <laughs> we'll let him. We'll let him amuse us. Is there anything you want to say to everybody? No, he goes. <laughs> He's been watching the Three Stooges, but don't knock anything over. Okay, now you gotta go. Because now you're just being silly. Give me my phone right there, baby. <laughs> see it? See it right there? Can you hand it to me, please? Oops. Yeah, because I don't want Oops. you to jump on it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> you got to get rid of that cough, dude. I always eat a You're to make a video. He's okay. He's in it. Yeah, yeah, I'm now. Sure. Although at one point before I said, I'm going to tell your mom, you better go. <laughs> I'm going to tell, tell your mother on you. Yeah. All right, buddy. What, what color? You can have the one today. You can't have any more until you go to bed. Which color? Uh, He's going to get some children's ibuprofen. He did have a little bit. What, he had a low-grade fever? Yeah, when I first got here, it was low-grade fever. Well, anyways, what I was thinking about being out there is that... Um, I remember hearing, you hear about that, like after you take a hot shower, you're supposed to turn on the cold and be on the cold for a while. And just, you know, at least get your, I think it closes up your pores. Oh, yeah, she, she's a nurse practitioner. Am I right on that? It closes up. <laughs> she doesn't want to talk. Oh, yeah, go to the store. I'll, I'll watch him. Isn't he gorgeous? No, really, seriously. Isn't he gorgeous? I mean, yeah. He's a foxy. <laughs> You're foxy. Well, I was thinking about that. He's going to help me uh, film. I was thinking about that. I know you've heard of that. that... Okay, let me stop because i got to talk to him. Unless you got something important to say. You got something important to say? I've been playing on this for ages and ages and ages. I didn't understand it either. Sometimes he says something to me and I look at him and I go, I didn't understand what you said. <laughs> I didn't understand it. Okay. Um, key. I don't know what this key goes to. It's a key to my heart. That's a key. It's <laughs> a key to help. Okay. Okay. Now, if you're going to be in there, you have to sit down. Is and, it? Yeah, you can I'm sit down. down. Okay. Yeah. But I know you've heard of that, and I think it closes up your pores. But Tony Robbins, you know who he is. He's that inspirational speaker. Tony Robbins, that zillionaire, he said that what he does, he does it because it's a challenge. He probably heard that it does increase the size of your an, an, anticular, mid, mid, anterior mid-singular cortex that increases. He actually stays under the cold water for a good five minutes because he knows he doesn't want to do it, but he knows it's good for him. He knows that it's a challenge. It's a challenge to do that. I remember hearing him speak about that once. And it reminded me. It reminded me of that. So, I know. So, what do you think? I just wanted to bring this up for you. Um, what does this have to do with nomad life? Well, I think it... I think it has a lot to do with Because a lot of us... There's a lot of things maybe we don't want to do in our nomad life. We just don't want to do it. Um, we have a sand pit in the backyard. What is it? A sand pit in the backyard. A sand pit? In the backyard. I heard that. I understood that, the backyard. It's a big one. And we have a dump time on it. Wow. Okay. It's a huge one. Okay, I let me finish this and then we can talk, okay? Mm, he's so gorgeous. Get over here, you little cutie. Um, but there's a lot of things in our nomad life that we don't want to do, but we do it anyways, right? <laughs> but we do it anyways. Let's grow that area. Let's have better will to live. So, yeah. Tomorrow, I hop on a plane again. I know she did. Let me see it. Yeah, Caitlin, when I was watching him, she he tried to grab this and she, this right here smacked him. How is your hand? It's just, it's just like it's like it's like. Oh my God! Right in yeah. the middle. Yeah. 
it, it just hurts so bad. It doesn't scratch. Good. Foxy lady. Good fox. <laughs> Foxy. He's a boy fox. He's a boy fox, okay. But I'm the lady, so. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to say goodbye because he's getting a little rambunctious. And his mom's going to the store. She can actually go to the store without him. This gives her a chance. Hey, do a fist bump. Come here. Let's do a fist bump. You know. There we go. Yeah, he's, a, he's adorable. He's a, he's a, he, could, he could be a model. Yeah, model child. Oh, oh don't make a face. <laughs> okay. I love this boy. I love this boy. Okay. I better say goodbye. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be on the plane. You can think about me. Say prayer for me. Okay? Tomorrow go to Melgo so you can see ya. I don't hear words. <laughs> Bye everybody. Bye. There I heard that.